Y'all, the divorce of the century is underway. Remember when I told you that Gemini King Kanye West was only playing nice, but now he about to tear things up? Y'all, Kanye West has just publicly come out and said that Kim is hiding the kids from him, didn't even tell him where his daughter's birthday party was, and so much more. Y'all, we got receipts, we got audio. Y'all ready to get into this? Y'all, again, I'm gonna follow this. And guess what? I know Kanye West did a interview with Jason Lee, but maybe you ain't need the interview because Kanye made a song where he spilled all the business and we're going to go over the lyrics because it tells you so much about where this messy mess mess is about to go. You ready? Let go. All right, before we get into the mess, let's go to the backstory really, really quickly for those of us just joining us, right? In August and September, there were rumors about a possible reconciliation between Kim and Kanye. And I'll be honest, I thought they were getting back together too. Now, here's the thing in October they were still playing coy right are they are they not Kanye West even showed up at Saturday Night Live and helped Kim with her dismal in my opinion and disappointing Saturday Night Live kind of thing I don't know why everybody was trying to act like that was the funniest thing they said it was dry it was boring it was stale but it doesn't matter Kanye West showed up and helped her now I do remember that time Kanye had an attitude because he felt like Kim took a joke at his expense and the just to get in good with the producers do you think he knew then that she was really literally auditioning his replacement because that's when she met pete davidson and got cool so you know this is part of the story let's move on. in november right it was suddenly announced that they were getting a divorce now i know that they, kim had already filed for divorce but she said she wanted to push on through and no i wouldn't be no no your honor i want to be legally single for those of you guys that don't know, legally single means you literally dissolve the marriage and then you worry about child custody and anything dealing with property and money at a different date. You know, so it's kind of like, okay, fine. We'll legally dissolve the marriage today and then three months from now we'll dissolve the ass. Something very, very common and that's what she did. But around this same time is when she became public with Pete Davidson going to all those weird dates in Coney Island, Staten Island, wherever he lives, right? Some island that's out, not Brooklyn, right? Or in Manhattan. So anyway, she started showing up, pizza dates, eating fried Oreos. It was real weird. It was really giving, you're jealous, your sister now has some, uh, some type of fandom. Courtney, the least interesting one, is now the only one anyone wants to talk about because of her romance with Travis Barker. So I looked at it as she was on her white boy starter pack and trying to like get in with whatever. Um, I don't think it's working, but let's move on. In December, this is all happening November, December, Pete starts being shown up all over LA driving Kim's Rolls Royce. This is important to remember because it's one of Kanye's grievances. I'm about to play the audio right now, but he was driving all up and down Los Angeles in Kim's Rolls Royce, right? Then Kanye purchased a home across the street from Kim for 4.5 million. I think he even paid 500,000 over the asking price. So he was like, yeah, People said that he was stalking. And by people, I'll give my opinion, I think it was the Kardashian machine because TMZ reported and kept trying to push his narrative that Kanye was stalking Kim. Don't forget at that same time, Kanye was dating that gorgeous model who's a Pat McGrath model, Venetria, and she was living in his Malibu home. When Kim started bucking up, and saying these things about Kanye's a stalker and jealous, that's when him and Venetria broke up and she moved out the Mal Balbin mansion. Now, Kanye's gotten with Julia Fox. Julia Fox has a, is, has a super interesting past. She is hungry and ready for the fame, and Kanye's trying to turn her into Kim 2.0. All right, is everybody up to speed? Now let's look at the update. So let's start with the most shocking claims. Kanye said security blocked him from his kids because Pete Davidson was in Kim's house, right? He also said, and if this is true, this is messed up, that Kim disinvited Kanye from, not even disinvited, had a secret birthday party for Chicago West, and he was not known, he was not notified, and they were not there. Kanye had a lot to say. I'm about to play the audio, but I do want to say this. How the hell is Kanye not invited to his kid's party? Y'all even invited Tristan for Christmas. Scott Disick. Yeah, Scott's lovable, but he's a lovable drug addict, right? He's taking Courtney through some stuff. He's still into dumb stuff. Scott is family and is invited everywhere. How 
Are you disinviting Kanye West by all accounts? Kanye West is a good dad to his kids. But listen, let's get into what actually Kanye said, because you got to hear this audio. You are not going to believe it. He basically said, you want war? Let's go. I've been waiting for you from the door. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm just yeah, wishing my one. daughter a public right. happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. There's nothing legal. They're saying that these are the kind of games that's being played. At the light, it's the kind of thing right that aviation really Boulevard. has affected my health for the longest. Uh, and I'm just not playing. I'm not letting, I'm taking control of my narrative this year. I'm being the father, the best father, the yay version of a father. And I'm, I'm not finna let this happen and we're gonna be mile, in real time take a slight right turn this. onto I right here North. chicago happy birthday i love you and i'm just putting this online because i need y'all support i didn't call kim text the nannies i got on the phone with tristan he he said he asked chloe won't nobody give me the address to my daughter's birthday party right now and that's going to imprint in her mind that i wasn't there for her you get what i'm saying like i ain't this uh, this I was supposed to be in Miami recording my album. I'm, my whole schedule is all based around me being able to take my kids to school, me being there for them, making sure that I'm in their life. That's the whole point of having money. They take so many fathers just throughout America. They've been taking the fathers out the homes purposely. So I'm speaking up. I'm using my voice to say this ain't gonna keep happening. This narrative is not gonna happen. It's a lot of people that's not in a position where they ain't got no voice when people be playing games like this. Baby mamas be playing games. The grandma would be playing games like this. And it's like, as y'all know, they ain't finna play like that with, with me. First of all, if what Ye is saying, right, is true, Kim Kardashian should be a ashamed of herself. Ashamed of herself. Now, I do want to give an update right when I was filming this, right? All of a sudden, TMZ, and you know no matter what you say, it's the Kardashian's mouthpiece, issued a statement that there was a misunderstanding with the invitation and Kanye is on his way. Girl, what misunderstanding could there be? He called, he said he called Tristan. Tristan was like, oh, duh, 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 duh. this is black Jesus. I didn't know how to help you, right? Chloe was sitting there. He asked Chloe for the number and Chloe was like, <sighs> Quote an inspiration of Instagram shit. When the heart says it's have enough is when you know. And he's like, girl, shut up. Can you just tell me where the baby's party is? He called Kim a million times. Kim was like, Kanye, I'm sorry. I'm too busy serving the kids cotton candy, apples. Mason, stop tweeting about this. That's what Kim was doing. And now y'all try to act like it's a misunderstanding. Girl, get out of here. But guess what? Right? Let this be a sobering thing to think, right? To th the fact that everybody warned Kanye West about Kim and that family. The fact that everybody told him whatever. The fact that she had that boy on National D talking about Amber Rose was dirty and he needed 20 showers to be with him. The fact that he was literally had a show with all people of color models and then everybody was dressed like homeless street urchins, extras from Les Miserables, and he had them in all white and feathers and gold looking like angels upon us. The fact that he elevated these people. Have you seen any of my videos? You know what I think about their racial sensitivity, right? The fact that you elevated them, why everybody told you it was the wrong road. And now you sitting on IG Live, driving around LA like a maniac, trying to get to your baby's birthday. Yo, life comes at you fast. I guess it really doesn't matter what the color of somebody's skin is. I guess it just really matters their character. Life comes at you fast. Good luck. I hope you make it to that birthday. Honestly, I hope Chicago has the best birthday ever. In the meantime, we got some more juice and I'm going to deliver that in a different video because y'all been listening to this fast enough. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Kanye should have listened? Do you think everybody tried to warn him? Let me know.